In the jungle, the mighty jungle, we made some balloons tonight. What? What? Okay, okay, don't, don't click off. Stay with me here. I'm not gonna sing, I promise. That's the end of the singing for this video. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to teach you how to make this awesome three foot balloon belly buddy. <laughs> I'm Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. Grab a pencil, grab your balloons, and here we go. Okay, so to make this one, we're actually going to use two sets of five, or quints. And the way that we make quints is that we take a duplet, like this one, which is two balloons tied together, and then we tie a third balloon to it, which makes a triplet. And then we take our triplet and our duplet, and we twist it together, and we have a quint. Okay, so now we're gonna take our quint of nine inch balloons and our quint of seven inch balloons. Both are 11 inch balloons, just undersized. Okay, and we're going to twist them together to make one big zebrific ball. Okay, this is, this is just a, a big zebra ball. And twist them around. You can use the, the ground or your body for a counter pressure. You want to get it pretty tight. And the reason that you want to get it tight and that we're twisting it into a ball is so that it creates this pocket in the center. Now we are going to take our water weight, which is two 11 inch balloons that have been stuffed one into the other um, and then filled with water until just after it bowls out. It just kind of expands a little bit, but you're not really inflating it that much. Um, as long as you keep it not much larger than this, they're pretty indestructible. I've given it to my 10 year old to trust, to, to test. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this and you wanna have it tied as close to the bowl of the balloon as you can so that you have more neck of the balloon to play with. It's kind of fun. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it on the inside of the, the larger cluster and then we're gonna take the nozzle and wrap it around, kind of figure eighting it. And then just for extra security, we're going to actually tie it to one of the nozzles of our, um, let's see, five is a quint, 10 would be a deca, to our deca, our deck, I, I don't know. Anyways, you wanna tie it to one of the nozzles. All right, just like that. So now it's, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so now we're gonna take our three foot balloon to make our, our belly buddy. So we're gonna put it on just like this and we basically want to get it more or less as straight as we can, but it doesn't have to be totally straight because it's kind of cute when it's like kind of rolled forward or rolled back and it has a little bit of a pot belly. And I have here in my pocket some sticky tabs. And I'm going to take these sticky tabs and I'm going to stick the balloon down onto the smaller balloons. So you want to see where it touches and then you kind of want to go, oh, okay, so I see that the balloon is making contact right there and so that's where I'm going to put my sticky tab and that's good. Okay, so the first two are kind of hard to do, um, but then after that it's easy. You want to go all the way around and hit all five. Right, so now we're going to take the quad of balloons. These are inflated to about seven inches. And we're just going to wrap the nozzle of the three footer kind of around him a couple of times and then tie it into one of the nozzles. Just for that extra security. Like so. All right, so there we go. Now, 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 now. All right, and we're gonna take our zebra head. I just love this guy. He's just so cute. And we're going to tie our 260 around the, the neck of the foil balloon, being very careful not to crush the valve. This is very important. So we're gonna do it right about there, okay? So I'm just gonna make a quick little loopy knot here. I'm just gonna pull it through, slide it on, just like that. Okay, and now we wanna use both sides of the tail, not just, not just use it as one, we wanna use it as two pieces and we want to wrap it in and around and through like this. All 
All right, there we go. And now we want to give them some fun arms. Even though zebras have um, four legs and they don't have arms, we're going to give them arms. And so all we're going to do is we're just going to make a little, like a dog head. So we're going to make a little bubble. Actually, I'm going to give them kind of loopy hands. And we're going to make a loop. It's like your basic three twist beginner poodle. And then we're going to pull that one through just so that it gives it, um, it locks it. It's not going to un unravel. And we'll give it a little bend. Now we want to get a second 260, ideally more or less the same size. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So a little bubble, I'd say it's about eh, maybe an inch, inch and a half. And a little loop, you can measure it to make sure that they're the same. Pull it through, give it a bend, and then try as much as you can to make sure that they're more or less the same size. Yeah, more or less. Okay, and then you're just going to tie them together, just like that. Okay, and now you simply just kind of place it in there and arrange it so that the leg, the arms are doing what you want them to do. Now, these are fantastic readers for events. So you can put like a little banner or a sign or something in his hands, like, welcome to my party. Um, if it's, you know, or uh, John Safari or, or whatever it is so that you can represent, you know, what the event is all about. Even you can kind of put the two hands in front of him and have a sign. It might add some weight, so you may have to play with it a little bit to get it, um, to get it balanced, but uh, there's a lot that you can do with this. But anyways, here you go. We have a really fun, and you see this thing's as tall as I am. So I'm five two and three quarters. So you can, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm five one and three quarters. I really want that extra inch, man. So yeah, you can figure out, you know, it's, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty impactful design here. So here you go, really fun zebra balloon belly buddy <laughs> design. Um, and if you like this, make sure that you click like on the video, give me some love, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends to subscribe to my channel, and most importantly, leave me a video and tell me what else you wanna learn. What other themes are you thinking of? What other um, designs do you want to see? I'm putting out a video every week. It's a lot of videos, so I welcome your ideas. And I promise, it may not be the day that you leave the comment, but I promise to answer every comment that is not marked as spam. <laughs> I need to cover myself there, just disclaimer, you know. Anyways, so there you go. And until next time, oh yeah, and don't forget to go buy my books on Amazon. <laughs> Shameless plug, what can I do? Anyways, you guys want to say it with me? Until next time, go forth and balloonify!